Two sports claimed conference titles over the weekend, while another punches their ticket to the A-Sun postseason. I've got all that and some special guests on this week's edition of Monday Minutes on the Osprey Sports Network. Ospreys, it's Elise Lowe. We've got a packed show, so let's get right into it with a recap of this past weekend. Women's golf was on the road this week at the Palmetto Intercollegiate. The Ospreys finished 11th overall, while Megan Wilshire led the way. The men's golf team had a great outing at the Quail Valley Intercollegiate. The team finished second overall, with Philip Knowles taking the individual title. Andrew Alligood also cracked the top 10. Knowles was named A Sun Golfer of the Week for his performance. The women's soccer team traveled to Stetson Saturday for their first round game of the A-Sun tournament. The Hatters pulled away from the 5-2 win with the Osprey goals scored by Brandi Walker and Alexis Bordeaux. On to the court, the men's tennis squad traveled to Statesboro for the Georgia Southern Championships with Zach Goldberg and Zaheel Deshmukh taking the doubles title. To the volleyball court, despite a non-conference loss Tuesday to FAMU, the Ospreys rebound over the weekend, defeating FGCU in a five-set thriller on Friday night, before sweeping Stetson on Saturday, clinching a spot in the A-Sun tournament. This past Saturday in Spartanburg, South Carolina, both cross-country teams competed in the A-Sun championships and did not disappoint. Nick Morkin and Eden Meyer won the Runner of the Year titles, while Noah Perkins took Men's Freshman of the Year. The men's team placed four runners in the top five, taking the team title and earning Jeff Pig Men's Coach of the Year. Joining us today are A-Sun Runners of the Year, Eden Meyer and Nick Morkin. Now, Eden, you set a course record this past Saturday. What did you do to prepare for it? Um, basically just ran a lot, made sure we recovered, um, just rested well and um, just had a plan and just practice it and tried to execute that. Well, you definitely executed that very well. Now, Nick, the Ospreys had four runners in the top five. How do you guys all stay packed in such a crowded field? Um, I know that it's a lot easier when you run in a pack and um, doing as long as you stay together with the guys it just makes everything so much easier so I knew if we stay together we could probably get the job done. Well thank you so much for joining us this week and good luck in regionals. The Ospreys drew 1-1 on Wednesday with NJIT before shutting out USC Upstate 4-0 to secure their second straight A-Sun regular season title. Joining us from the team is Micah Smoke. Now, Micah, the team has captured their second straight ASUN title, your first. What is it like being unbeaten through conference play? Yeah, it's it's been a heck of a ride, to be honest. Um, we've had some tough games in there, and we've been successful to win all of them except one with one tie, so pretty happy with that. Now, the team has clinched a first-round bye in the tournament and hosts a semifinal next Sunday, either against JU or NJIT. What are some keys for the team in training this week? I think we just need to prepare every day with their focus on that game, no matter who it is. I mean, we tied NJIT the first time, and JU was a tough game with the Jacksonville rivalry. So I think we just need to prepare for a tough game and every day just focus on that game. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Micah. Now let's take a look for the teams in action for the Ospreys. Men's golf travels to Hawaii for the weekend. They'll be in action through Sunday. The men's tennis squad splits up with Jack Findle Hawkins and Lasse Moose heading to the ITA Indoor Championships. The rest of the team will be in Fort Myers for the Dick Vitale Invite. Women's tennis will be on campus this weekend, hosting the UNF Invite at the Tennis Complex starting Saturday. The swimming team heads to Miami on Saturday, facing FIU. Finally, volleyball hosts their final regular season home matches, facing NJIT on Friday and USC Upstate on Saturday in the UNF Arena. And that's all we have for you for this week's edition of Monday Minutes on the Osprey Sports Network. I'm Elise Lobb. Have a great week, and as always, go Ospreys!